To say that we are facing unprecedented times is an understatement, if there ever was one. Uh, this, it ain't, I don't know, in my 40 plus years of living, I've never seen it like this. Um, you know, we're accustomed to racism. We're accustomed to oppression and marginalization. But 2020 just seems to be the perfect storm. Like everything coming together in one place and space, in one time and season, and uh, for the purposes of creating maximum mayhem. Uh, we live in some just, just crazy times. And um, many of us are asking, how do we handle this? How do we, how do we deal with the challenges that we're facing? How do we get up every morning and keep moving along like everything's okay? Um, is, there, is there any answer for life's struggles and life's problems? How, how do we manage today? How do we handle uh, these, these, these terrible times? Uh, these are not questions that um, are unique. There are people over the course of history who've had to answer those. There are those who've been through these difficult moments and they have preserved for us um, recipes and you know manuals on how to handle stressful times. Uh, if there ever was an individual who had to deal with some stress, uh, it, it was David. It was David, King David. Um, we know that he's one who is chosen by God, uh, who was elevated from nothingness and from nowhere. Uh, when God went looking for a king, didn't go to a palace, went to the backside of the wilderness and chose this shepherd boy. And so he's promoted and elevated. And it seems as if promotion comes rather quickly. Um, you know, one day this guy is, you know, like, you know, out there in the wilderness. The next day, Samuel's coming by his house. And then, you know, later on, we find this guy on the national stage taking on a, 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 a terror and a tyrant uh, in the person of Goliath and conquering him and becoming like overnight a national hero. Uh, but this national hero has had some challenges to overcome and some difficult difficulties to navigate. Um, and, uh, you know, David is, you know, running for his life. And a man who once affirmed him and a man who once received him now has become, you know, his uh, antagonist and is trying to destroy him. Um, he's constantly running for his life. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's, he's labeled a traitor. Uh, the nation that he put his life on the line to save now the folk, you know, are looking for him. People are, 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 are trying to identify where he is because there's a bounty on his head. David is going through some stress and some difficult times. But David preserves for us in the book of Psalm, uh, particularly Psalm 27, a way in which we handle uh, difficult seasons and times of stress and, and turmoil. And he begins by stating, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? For those of you who are listening to this broadcast and listening to this devotional, I want you to know today with all the challenges you've got to face, if you're going to come out on top, if you're going to succeed, here are a few things you need to remember. When you face difficult moments and when your uh, day is going wrong and when uh, your life is upside down and when you're facing trial and tribulation, the first thing you've got to do, you're going to have to do is to affirm your faith. David declares, the Lord is my light and my salvation. In other words, David is quick to declare that Yahweh is the one who gives me light in the midst of darkness. When I can't find my way, when I don't know which way to turn, Yahweh provides guidance for me to be able to see my way through dark and terrible circumstances because the Lord is my light. Not just anybody, not Astareth or Molech or Dagon or Baal, not the gods of the people, not money and influence and power. It is the Lord who is my light and my salvation. He's the one who saves my life. He's the one who redeems me. He's the one who guides and cares and provides and protects for me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So the first thing you ought to do when you're going through difficult seasons is affirm your faith. But secondly, you're going to have to admit your dilemma. David goes on to say in Psalm 27, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh. In other words, God gets no glory 
when we try to act like we're not having a situation. As a matter of fact, you can't get over anything that you can't admit. Because the first thing you're going to have to deal to do to deal with a bad situation is to admit that it's a bad situation. You're going to have to acknowledge it. You're going to have to look at it and say, you know what? This is some messed up stuff. This is crazy. This is beyond my ability. You will never confess to God something that you will not admit to yourself. You've got to have an internal conversation with yourself and say to yourself, self, you can't handle this. Self, this is ridiculous. Self, you've never been through this before. Self, this is too much for you. Admit your dilemma. But then the next thing you ought to do is you ought to adjust your priorities. Because David goes on to the, in the same chapter to talk about the fact that one thing have I desired of the Lord and that one thing will I seek after. Because ladies and gentlemen, when you're going through stressful times, it's time to narrow your focus. There are things right in front of you that you need to deal with. Because too many of us, we're trying to handle spiritual things through carnal means. We're focused on every, any and every other thing. We're looking for all kinds of other external devices to give us inner peace. No, 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 no. When you're going through difficulty, lock in. It's time to focus your attention. Uh, eliminate distractions. Minimize uh, people who are trifling and circumstances that require you to expend energies that are unnecessary. Because when you're going through a difficult situation, it's time to adjust your priorities. Narrow your focus. He says, one thing have I desired. I'm looking for one thing. I'm trying to get focused now. Uh, so watch this. When you're going through a difficult circumstance, the first thing you ought to do is affirm your faith. Then you're going to need to admit your dilemma. Then you have to adjust your perspective and adjust your priorities. But the third thing you ought to do is acquire God's presence. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that one thing will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to inquire of the Lord and behold the beauty of the Lord. Because when you're going through a difficult situation, rather than running out to fight your enemies, you need to turn inward and focus on your relationship with God. Look to the Lord from whence cometh your help. Look and focus on things that are of eternal consequence. But lastly, you ought to attune your voice. In other words, learn how to smile at the storm. Sing in your dilemma. Because David says that he will sing. That last verse in uh, Psalm 20, uh, 27, the, uh, of the first six verses, that's what I was dealing with today. Psalm uh, 27, verses 1 to 6, says, I will sing, yea, I will sing. In other words, you got to learn how to shift your perspective, adjust your attitude, and declare, I'm going to smile at my storm. I'm going to sing through a negative circumstance. I'm going to give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. I'm not going to wait till the battle is over. I'm going to shout right now. I'm going to lift up holy hands. I'm going to give God the honor and the glory that is due to his name. I'm going to say to my situation, amen, God is able. In other words, I'm not going to spend too much time telling God about my problems. I'm going to spend more time telling my problems about God. My prayer for you is that as you navigate these storms in your life, you will first affirm your faith. Second, admit your dilemma. Third, adjust your priorities. Fourth, acquire God's presence. presence. And fifthly, you will attune your voice and sing God's praise. Be blessed today. Thank you for watching New Day, New Mercies. If you like what you see, thumbs up. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want notification, hit the bell icon. Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Thanks to RNK Customized Printing for our t-shirts. See you in the morning.